How you doing, fight fans? This is Boxing Knowledge coming at ya with my take on the Vitaly Klinchko versus Chris Ariola fight. I'm gonna make it short and sweet for all y'all. Uh, without a doubt, I gotta say, gotta pick Vitaly Klinchko over my boy Chris Ariola. Um, I could go on and on and on about, you know, technically why uh, Vitaly is gonna beat Chris, but at the end of the day, it comes down to something very, very simple. All right, Chris. He takes too many risks, all right? He leaves himself wide open. Um, Vitaly Klinchko is a, is a calculating machine, okay? He's got a PhD in sports medicine, for crying out loud. Um, he's going to jump on those mistakes. Those openings are going to scream, hit me, all right? And Vitaly Klinchko mm -hmm. is going to do just that. He's going to hurt um, um, Chris. And um, I, I suspect that this fight will will not go past the seventh round all right and I'm and I'm being slightly generous um, I'd like to see a piece of the heavyweight crown come back to the US soil uh, but I just don't see it happening guys Chris Ariola has got an awesome amateur pedigree he's got well over 300 amateur fights he's got uh, he's got a significant hand speed advantage foot speed as well um, you know he throws three four punch combinations all right but he leaves himself open and Vitaly knows how to protect his weaknesses very well. Between the two of them, Vitaly's got a better defense. The only way Chris has a chance is if he could somehow get on the inside and force Vitaly Klinchko to, 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 to exchange with him. And Chris will get the better of those exchanges for sure and possibly hurt Vitaly. But guys, we got to use our head. And Vitaly, you know he's going to keep him at the end of his jab. Uh, which, by the way, is a beautiful jab. He also has a devastating right hand, just like his brother. Uh, and he's going to frustrate Chris, okay? Um, you know, uh, he's going to... And, and as, as he gets frustrated and as the fight progresses, Chris is just going to get more wild and more reckless, okay? Um, uh, my final two cents, uh, I got to say that um, this, this... I don't know what's wrong with Chris Ariola's management team. This title shot, in my opinion, is too premature. Okay, um, I believe that if Chris Ariola um, hits the weights really hard, um, you know, and 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 gets two more fights under his belt, so in another year or eighteen months from now, I think he would be ready. I would actually be willing to to to, you know, go on a limb and, and pick him in, in the upset to to beat Vitaly. Because by then, Vitaly would be, you know, 38, pushing 39, if he's not 39. And uh, Chris would be more experienced, more conditioned. And, and he would slim down. He would have a better phys physique. All right? But at this juncture, I just don't see Chris Ariola being Vitaly Klitschko. As much as I hate to say it, guys. Don't be shy. Leave your comments. And, um, you know, uh, subscribe. Um, talk to you guys later.